Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot. The band Simple Plan is actually putting on a show here, so I wanted to come out and see if we can watch it. And then also, the Disney Visa card photo opportunity is back with characters, so I thought it'd be fun to come out and show you who you get to take photos with. And then we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and enjoy an evening at Epcot. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is June 6th and it is a beautiful day for Epcot. A little bit later in the afternoon, but that's okay. I like it, it's not so hot out. I am very excited to see if we can catch the Simple Plan show. It looks like they have three shows today and we might be able to catch the six o'clock or the eight o'clock one. And I love their music, well, I mean, growing up I did. And also, like I said, the Visa card holder uh, photo opportunity, they recently brought back the characters in there. So I'm kind of intrigued to see who is in there, who you get to take photos with. And of course that's exclusive to anyone that has one of the Disney Visa cards. It's a part of the Disney rewards. And uh, that's me. <laughs> Here is a little bit more information about the Disney Visa card photo opportunity. You get to meet and pose with some of your favorite Disney characters. You get a free photo. It is daily from 1 p.m. to 6.30. All you have to do is show your Visa card to get in, and it's on the other side of Journey into Imagination. And we'll show you actually where everything's at. I think we're going to head on over to the character photo opportunity first. It says it closes at 6.30, but that's still a while away. And I'm not even too sure if the characters are back or not. They were just having generic photo opportunities in there. So we're going to find out either way. The last time we were here, I could have swore I started noticing the flowers looking, you know, a little dead here for Flower and Garden Festival. But now it looks brand new. It looks so beautiful, actually. After we actually meet up and see who the characters are, I think we're going to hop over to World Showcase, ride some rides, either Grand Fiesta Tour, and get something to eat. I feel like I really haven't dabbled much into the boots here for uh, Flower and Garden Festival since opening day in like that first month. So I wouldn't mind revisiting some of my favorite spots. The Disney Visa card photo spot is actually to the left of the Pixar Short Film Festival. And you can see this little door right here. It says photo spot on top. And there's actually a line of people. So we're going to hop in line. I mean, I'm excited to see who's in there. In the past, I've seen Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, a big collection of different people. And usually they rotate in and out. But now that it has reopened after being closed for, I mean, a couple of years, then uh, I'm excited. Maybe they changed it up a little bit. Maybe they added some characters or maybe some characters are in different outfits. Other than coming in here to see the characters, it's just really awesome to be in this building. They have amazing artwork all over the walls, the lighting's cool, and they play some old Epcot music, and I just love it. We are coming up next, and it's also really cool to point out that this might be the only place in Walt Disney World where you get to meet two characters at once. I don't know if they're still doing it like that, but if they are, then it is. They are finished. All right. You are next. All righty. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, look at it. It's Minnie and Pluto. I love it. Oh, and I love your dress. 50th anniversary dress. Oh, and you got your 50th anniversary charm. Very, very fancy. This is wonderful. I wasn't expecting both of you. I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, awesome. Can we do a photo? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Have fun, thank you so, oh, can I pay your thing? Can I, oh, <laughs> Gracie would love that. I like your whiskers too, they're very springy. <laughs> yep, every time I say it, I love it. <laughs> thank you guys, have a wonderful day, bye. Enjoy the rest of it. Yes, <laughs> how awesome is that guys? Oh. Well, that was seriously so cool. I love the fact that Minnie and Pluto were both in there and they were in their 50th anniversary outfits I love it. Amazing. And then when I came back out, there was almost nobody in line. And it only took me maybe a 10 minute wait. That is such a cool thing. Now they also have something like that over in Hollywood Studios that hasn't opened yet for Visa card holders. And I think it used to be a meet and greet with either Kylo Ren or Vader. And hopefully they open that back up because I'll be there to check it out anytime. Now I think we're going to journey over to World Showcase. I need to get something to eat, maybe a drink, get all loosey-goosey before the Simple Plan concert. I'm kind of singing their songs in my head right now, getting all pumped up. 
If you guys know who Simple Plan is, let me know what your favorite song is. I mean, they do have quite a bit of uh, hits. I know they have uh, Just a Kid, and then they have Perfect. There's a lot of really good songs that Simple Plan made, and sometimes I really don't even realize that they're the ones that are singing it. Like, oh, Addicted. As we make our way down to World Showcase, I wonder what they're going to do with the old Starbucks building. Well, this is like the temporary location that they had, uh, and then they recently closed it because connections opened back up. But I wonder what they're going to do. Maybe they'll make it a permanent like food and wine booth. I think that's a good idea. They should use it for all the festivals. Now that I've made it over here to World Showcase, I was really thinking about grabbing something to eat from one of the festival booths, but then I got a craving for Japanese food, and I figured maybe I'd go to the quick service over in the Japan Pavilion. I don't think I've eaten there that much, only once or twice, and I wouldn't mind trying something, something different. I think we're going to hold off until we get to the Japan Pavilion. I mean, if we come across something that looks good, I might grab it, but I think I got my eyes set on Japanese. I think I do want to stop and get myself a coffee. Usually I like to have coffee after I eat, but uh, I'm feeling a coffee at the moment. Maybe a nice stroll around World Showcase holding a cup. I think that feels nice. I think that sounds nice. And I guess we'll stop right here at good old Joffrey's. Coffee, tea, espresso coffee, and pastries. Looks like there's a bee in there. Look at that. Take a look at this. Even the bees love Joffrey's. Look at him. <laughs> He's stuck in there. Fly away. He's going for the honey buns. <laughs> Wasn't that so funny? The bee was going after the honey buns in there. And I kind of like bees. We have a great relationship together. And fun fact, sometimes the bees can honestly take over an outdoor stand here at Epcot's World Showcase. And they have to actually shut it down because so many of them are just going all over the place trying to, trying to get that sweet nectar, you know? But I love the bees. Cheers. Normally I go with the nitro cold brew, but I just wanted to get a classic iced coffee. Hear that? ice going around a little bit. I think I might actually just sit down and drink my coffee and take in the views of World Showcase Lagoon. And there's a spot that I usually go to that nobody's ever there. It's always quiet. And like, honestly, I feel like it's a hidden gem. Right after the bridge from the UK to the France Pavilion, they have this little area down here that they use sometimes for either wedding receptions or for dessert parties. And like I said, there's usually nobody down here, but some people don't know that there's actually a second area down here. Take a look at this. You come down here and there's hardly ever anybody down here and you get to go underneath the bridge a little bit. So if you wanna get away from the public and you just want a nice little quiet spot, this is it right here. You're down on the water. Look at this. Kind of just have your own little nook and cranny over here. It's very, very nice by the water. Wonderful views. I like it. As I'm sitting down here just enjoying the ambience, I'm looking over the menu at Katsura Grill, which is the quick service in Japan, and I'm thinking about getting some ramen. You know, I'm, I'm kind of in the ramen mood, but man, I just love it down here. I love hearing the music, you got the ducks. It's great, just me, ducks, and music. There's so much hustle and bustle happening right above us, and it's just so quiet over here. Some cobwebs too, cobwebs. Anytime I hear cobwebs, I think of Drop Dead Fred. Well, I guess you can say it's just me, the ducks, the music, and the lizards. A lot of lizards here. Hi, friends. Come with me. Come on. Don't you want to be friends? The lizards want nothing to do with me. Neither do the ducks, so I think we're just going to take our coffee and head to Japan. As we're making our way over to Japan, I can actually hear Simple Plan already playing their first show of the night, but we want to actually go to the later ones. And it's getting me pumped. Like I said, I've been singing their songs in my head all night long. I close my eyes and all I see is you. I close my eyes, I try to sleep, I can't forget you. Na na na, na na na, and I do anything. Can't you see it? All right, as I was making my way to Japan, something did catch my eye, and that is here in Morocco, and they actually sell Moroccan pastries, and it, it kind of seems interesting. I'd never done it before. 
take a look at this. It's an assorted of Moroccan pastries. And you can pick one, pick three, pick five, pick seven. It also has some really cool drinks here too. Here are the different pastries you can choose from. And I don't know how to pronounce half of them. They do sound it out a little bit. But I think I'm gonna go with the pistachio stuff. Hi, Hi. can I pick two? Yeah, I'll do a coconut pistachio gareba and then a pistachio baklava. That's going to be $5. All right. And you can pick one, two, three, four, seven, twenty. <laughs> I basically went with anything pistachio because that's what I like. I think I've had the pistachio baklava in the past, but not this coconut one. And they both look amazing. So maybe I'll, you know, make this as an ongoing series and try all the Moroccan pastries. Just maybe two at a time, though. Look at them though, don't they look so cool? I mean, I love baklava, so this is gonna be a nice little treat right there. And this one right here, little coconut, little pistachio combination, everything I love. All right, let's go with the baklava first because I think I've had it already. But it's so good and it's so crispy. Listen to this crunch. Oh, wow. That is so good. It's so flaky and delicious. I really love it. I don't know if you heard the crunch or not, but it is very flaky. Now we're moving on to our second little treat. And we're only doing a bite each. Like, I don't want to actually eat it all. But this one looks good because, like I said, I like a little coconut, a little pistachio combination. So I've never had it before. We're going in. Hmm. This is interesting. This kind of reminds me of an Almond Joy mixed with a Rice Krispie treat and uh, pistachio. Like, <laughs> it's very strange but very unique. I like it. These two are actually amazing. Like, I would get them again. But the other ones, they, they kind of seem like they're, you know, things uh, a little bit experimental. Things out of my comfort zone. But we will try them. All right, it's time for some ramen at Katsura Grill. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had the ramen here. It's so beautiful coming over here and just kind of getting something to eat because it's so quiet. I mean, right now you can hear the band, but it's, it's kind of like a little zen area. We've been showing a lot of those today. I'm a little bit torn in between the shrimp udon and the pork ramen, so I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna get, but I have to decide now. Here is a look at the menu. They've got shrimp and chicken teriyaki, chicken cutlet curry, yuzu miso wings. They got the pork ramen. They've got the shrimp tempura udon. A lot of good stuff, some Tokyo sushi combos. And I am still pretty much indecisive. Maybe I'll just ask and go whatever they recommend. Well, this is kind of a fun story. I was asking for a recommendation from the lady that was taking care of me. I said I never had the shrimp udon, and I like the pork ramen, and I asked which one she would recommend, either you know the ramen or the shrimp udon, and she told me to go with the shrimp udon, and if I didn't like it, then she would uh, give me the pork ramen. I was like, oh, sounds fun. But then when I picked up my order, she gave them both to me. She was like, here, just in case you don't like it, you have it ready to go, and I was like, that's really awesome. So just take a look at that. Here is the shrimp udon with the shrimp tempura. And then here is the pork ramen. And they both look amazing. I've had the pork ramen before. I've never had this. I'm excited to try it. And that was so nice of her. She gave them both to me. I mean, I'm not going to be able to eat it all. That's a lot of soup. But I do love me some soup. First things first, let's try the shrimp tempura. And they give you two big pieces of shrimp. And I'm just going to go in for it. That's so good, holy moly. I really love this. The only thing I don't like is how much of the shrimp is sitting inside the uh, udon noodles. Like, it's getting very soggy, very soggy shrimp, but it tastes so good. I can't wait to try the noodles, but I feel like you gotta eat the shrimp first. Eat the shrimp first because you don't want it to get too soggy. And I don't know if I mentioned they were $13 a piece, so they gave me a free $13 meal here. Like, it's not, I, I'm really shocked by that. And you only get the two shrimp with this. So I don't know if it's a great value with this. The pork ramen comes with a lot of stuff. Comes with broccolini, corn, the noodles, and pork. Now let's get down to the noodle business. And I'm gonna just grab a little bit here at my chopsticks. Do a little twirl. Perfect. Here we go, udon up. Now let's dive into the ramen. You get your pork right here. Look at that. Got some good broccolini. Gonna grab a nice big bite. Do a little twist. Perfect. 
I'll let you guys know which one I like better. I switched over to fork so I can get a little bit of everything in one bite. And uh, ramen, here we go. Mmm. I love that. I like this. I think I like this a little bit more because you get more than just noodles and shrimp. Like, you know me, you get the veggies, you get the corn. You get a little bit of everything in there. I am actually really happy with our food choice this evening. I mean, this was perfect. It was just what I was in the mood for. Even though I do like the ramen more, I like the shrimp tempura like broth more. I, I, I feel like that has a little bit more flavor than this one. But this one you get more noodles. All right, now I think we need to get moving along so we can scope out good seats for the Simple Plan Show. It's right around the corner. It's right there in the American Pavilion. So we're not too far away. That was seriously too much noodles for me. But look how beautiful it is back here in the Japan Pavilion. I love it. All of the fountains, the koi. It's so nice. Like this is what I said. It's like, it's like a zen, uh, zen garden. It's very, very quiet and peaceful. Oh wait, just as I was about to leave, I found this little bridge here and I kind of want to cross it. Look at this. Wow, I really love the Japan like pavilion. It is so peaceful and I never realized like they had this little like bridge that separates the pond because uh, that's the koi pond down there. Look at that, I don't want to slip and fall. You know what I mean? You definitely would be a fool if you slipped and fell in a koi pond. One more stop before we actually get moving. I'm still in awe of the Japan Pavilion and I want to stop and get one of my favorite drinks here at the Garden House and it's not the Violet Sake even though that is a very popular drink. In fact, I had an interview with the food and beverage director here at Epcot and he told me the three most popular drinks here and number one is the Blackberry Moonshine uh, Sour that's over in America. Number two is the Avocado Margarita over in Mexico and number three is the Violet Sake right here in Japan and, and then he also went on to say number four is the Grand Marnay slush in France but it's cool that those are the top three but I like to get the acai super dry it's a beer and it is so amazing right in here at the garden house they've got the acai super dry my favorite beer it's just so good so super dry so amazing Right here are three of the most popular drinks. Violet Sake, Tokyo Sunset, and then the Sparkling Dragon. But I'm all about this right here. It's even got a special machine. <laughs> Acai, super dry. Cheers. <sighs> Much too good. Before we head to the concert, I ran into my friend Sean and Jojo. What's good, guys? Jojo wants to go get one of the brioche ice cream sandwiches. Yes, in France, because last time I was there, they sold out, and I've never had it before. So really? Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm going to show it. All right, all right, <laughs> I figured we got maybe just about 30 minutes before we have to get up there to get good seats. So we're gonna hop back to France. Jojo, Jojo's gonna get his ice cream sandwich and then uh, concert time. Wait a second. This might not be happening for Jojo today. Holy moly! <laughs> Looks like you're not getting that ice cream sandwich. Holy moly, look at this. So basically, they make like a little ice cream sandwich out of a brioche bun, but that's a line, man. One day. I'll come One back day. day. I'll get on the next one. I'm excited. Make, we're gonna make the show if we go. <laughs> Holy. Right, well, I guess we'll just get a drink instead. There we oh, oh, go. Don't, don't twist my arm. <laughs> We made it back over here just as the concert is letting out. So we might have a chance of getting a good seat maybe. Look at this, this is a lot of people though. Holy moly. Now that we made it back over to the America Pavilion, I came across the Blocks and Hans uh, beer stand and I noticed they have Golden Road Brewing Mango Cart Wheat Ale. And I had this over at Pim's Tasting Lab over at Avengers Campus in uh, California. And I think I gotta get it again. It'll be my beer for the show. Beer for the show. It's gonna be our beer for everyone. Yeah, we're all getting it. We're all getting it. <laughs> Two, one. We all got the mango cart. Yes, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. cheers to the Avengers, the Avengers campus. campus. Avengers, Never been there. assemble. All right, let's go find a seat. You guys ready? Yes. You got your Mickey pretzel, Papa? Yes. <laughs> 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 
And here is the standby line for the eight o'clock performance. And I'm a little nervous we might not get in. I mean, there is a lot of, a lot of fans here for this show. So we'll see, where does this line end? Oh, oh boy. Oh my Lord. Is it all the way in Italy too? <laughs> Look at this, and then there's still a switch back here. Simple plan, don't play around. Huh? I tell you what. Where's the back of the line? Show me. Once if they cut it off, once if we can't get in. It definitely looks like it's a pretty packed show, and uh, we're gonna see if we can sit up close and uh, get a good look at the band. Even though it's it's tight, but we might we might we might be able to make it. And just like that, we are uh, in the third row. Fancy, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> John. Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh. Here at the American They're standing up. Is this going to be a stand-up event?
all perfect. Ah, oh, there it is! We got in the darkness here, so if we, if you guys are cool with it. Hey, Dad, look at me. Think back and talk to me. Did I grow up according to Nothing lasts forever. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. This is the uh after concert entertainment right here, the strut out. <laughs> oh, wait, I dropped my keys. <laughs> I actually have Sean's keys. Oh, <laughs> Look at him, now he's running. Oh, he heard me! Oh, he heard me! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I actually have Sean's keys. <laughs> All right, that was a great concert. Zipper Flam was amazing. Hey, friend, how are you? Look at it, fancy. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, hey, how are you? Hey, yes. you guys having fun? Yeah. And like I was saying, Simple Plan was amazing. I wish they would have played uh, I'll Do Anything or I'm Just a Kid, but seriously, what a great show. And then Mr. Brightside, I was in awe. I was like, whoa. Now I think we're gonna head on over back towards uh, Mexico. Now we're gonna make our way in and head to the Grand Fiesta Tour. I feel like it's been a long time since I rode the Grand Fiesta Tour and uh, they got rid of the plexiglass. I'm just realizing the plexiglass is gone. Look at this. Gosh, it's needed. Look at it. It's needed. It's needed. The plexiglass, it's all gone. When the plexiglass is here, it's so bad. Oh, how are ya? <laughs> Hello, hey, how are ya? Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Very cool. You guys, you guys are gonna have the best boat of the house tonight. This is the fiesta. <laughs> fiesta! Woo! That's Logan Paul. That's Logan Paul. <laughs> There's the fiesta above us. Right there's the hit of Mickey. You see him standing there? Driving in the window. That's such a good hit of Mickey, right? <laughs> yeah. And with that, I think we are done here today. What an amazing day. I seriously had the best time ever. Simple Plan was amazing. All of the food we got to try and just hanging out with friends, enjoying an evening at Epcot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.